it's coming. There's even a tail on the back. <laughs> I love it so much though. It's so, so cute. Let me look at this. I took an unplanned break from the vlog after only vlogging for one day because um that doctor appointment the other day going out really strained my body more than I expected and it sent me into a flare and I am still flaring um I've been really sick um I've been falling a lot I've been having a hard time staying awake I've just been so sick and so I just couldn't film last couple days and I'm trying to film today but it's already 5 o'clock so I'm still fucking late like, to start to filming but I was too sick to talk earlier so at least I can talk now um I decided to make myself a good sick day meal um which is called fudoku I mean yeah fudoku um, sorry, <laughs> but, um, when I said it, I, I thought it sounded like Sudoku, and so I was like, did I say that right? But yeah, it's Fudoku, Fudoku, and it's, um, the mix of the word for water and the word tofu, and it, I mean, it's boiled tofu, it's a traditional Japanese dish, um, it's fine. It's chickly too. Um. But it's a light meal that's supposed to, you're just supposed to enjoy the flavor of the tofu itself. And I just thought it sounded like a really good, cozy, warm meal to eat. Um, and so I didn't have dashi stock. And so I just used some turkey stock and boiled my tofu in that instead. And um, then on top I made a little sauce with some soy sauce, ginger chives and cream red pepper flakes and so i just put that on top and so once that's cool enough i'm gonna eat it and i think it's gonna be good um but i've just been resting in bed watching anime today well that and sleeping and now my kitty's in bed sleeping with me too so he's adorable see him i love him but i can't talk anymore so i'll see you in a bit i'm really happy because um when um, my fudoku was really delicious. I couldn't eat all of it because apparently my stomach couldn't handle too much of the red pepper flake today. But it was so delicious and I really liked it, so that was good. And it was just like, the texture just melted in my mouth. But I'm happy because my hands haven't been shaking as much. Still a little shaky, but much better. And so, who having a hard time breathing though, talking. Um... So I decided to try reading, and I've been able to read. I finished reading the second volume of the Royal Tutor manga. I have the third one beside me to read next. But for now, right at the moment, I'm reading some of Wires and Love. I would at least like to get 100 pages done in this tonight, which I'm a little over halfway to that goal, so I'm sure I can do it. And I also have Vicious by Victoria Swab to read and so um yeah I'm looking forward to reading that too um but it's really fun reading the manga um of the royal tutor it's just like the most precious and pure cinnamon roll series ever and it's hilarious too and it deals with anxiety social anxiety um learning disabilities all sorts of stuff and it deals with them in such a good way it just makes me so happy and it has really good supportive kind siblings so that makes me happy and i love this series so much so i'm enjoying seeing it because there are some differences from the anime and i'm enjoying seeing stuff i haven't seen in the anime so this is really good um so yeah i'm not sure if I read some of Vicious or Royal Tudor after I finish my goal for the night of Wires and Herb. I'll see, because I really want to read both. But while I read, I'm watching um, Star Trek DS9, one of my favorite Star Trek series, so that's really fun. I have coffee. 
that kid was sleeping next to me, but he went to the other room because he wanted to go rest with Hunk. Those two are such sweet brothers. Seriously, they act like little mates. They adore each other. It's adorable. So they're currently laying on the couch together, and it's so cute. <laughs> um, but I've been cutting my hedges too, so that's nice. Um, Mom has had multiple um, allergic reactions today, so that's not fun. Um, she was going to go grocery shopping, but then she couldn't. She had a Walmart order, though, so Daddy went and picked that up for her since she couldn't drive with the allergic reactions. But it seems like she might start reacting to peanuts. She noticed that last two times she ate peanuts, and tonight she touched a container of peanut butter, and she went into allergic reaction. So she needs to stay away from peanuts. Um, and her other allergic reaction was that she was um, out of her foundation, and she was putting makeup on, and she started... Um, she had bought a new bottle of foundation, but they didn't have what she usually used. So she bought a new type and that type, even though it said for sensitive skin, it was like had floral stuff in it, smells in it and stuff, and it caused her to break out in hives on her face. So she washed her makeup off and then you could really see the hives and she borrowed my foundation to try, which is L'Oreal True Match um, Porcelain W1 warm um so yeah that's what i've used and she tried it she really liked it and it didn't cause her to react so she's really happy and gonna get herself a bottle of this so i haven't seen caroline much today though so i've been so sick i can't really stand for more than a minute or two so i've just been staying in bed but i'm happy i've been able to get some reading done i've been really hard, trying hard not to sleep all day because that's all I could do yesterday and the previous day was sleep. And so I've been able to stay awake today. Almost had a nap through it, but I fought through the symptoms because I was worried if I took a nap, I would wake up feeling worse. So yeah, I really would want to take a bath, but I can't even stand for long without falling. And I'm worried if I take a bath, this is gonna be too much. I'm um, straining off my body then I can't handle so I'll wait till tomorrow and try then. So I just mixed up some peppermint hot cocoa. Um, my own combination. I hope it turns out good because I haven't actually tasted it yet because it's too hot. But, um, yeah, I couldn't figure out how to make dairy free hot chocolate that tasted good for the longest time. But I have finally found the secret. It's to use soy milk, not coconut, not almond, not any of the other ones, soy milk. It's the one that's most like dairy. Seriously, it's amazing. <laughs> and I've been reading, um, I've read a, just about one third of Wires and Rose. Probably finish it tomorrow. Um, and I've been reading The Loyal Tudor. Um, I am now on volume four, so I've made good progress in this. And my thumb hates me for it. It keeps dislocating, but it's such a good series. I'm happy. Um, I've currently I have seven of those. That's as many as library had. So I hope it's not too much of a cliffhanger after I read all seven. Uh, but I am about to chat with my dear friend Rose. I'm happy. Um, it works out well to, for us both to be able to video chat at night because she, it's hard for her to get up sometimes and socialize because she has kids and it's hard for me because of the state of my health. So, I love technology. It makes socializing possible when you're chronically ill. Um, yeah. Growing up, I didn't really have friends until I was able to delve into making friends online as a teenager and it's really helped me um i've made almost all of my friends online and it's just it's a good way to keep in contact and online friends are still real friends so i'm just made so many amazing friends and i'm so thankful for the technology and the ability to keep in contact with them so that's what i'm about to do so I made myself hot cocoa and she's getting some tea and we're going to enjoy 
talking. So my friend couldn't talk for long, but that ended up being good for me because I crashed. Um, I'm not feeling well. Can't walk. Um, or read, or really anything. But Hannah helped me, and she helped straighten up my room some. So that was really, really helpful since I've been too sick. So I'm having a hard time holding the camera. So I have to go to bed now, guys. Thank you for watching. Good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Hello guys and happy Sunday. I had to think about what day it is and realized it's Sunday because I was shocked this morning when I walked out of my room and I found daddy sitting on the couch like, you home? <laughs> um, the kids are currently having a playtime so they might be a little noisy while I film. That's not too noisy. But I didn't film yesterday just because it didn't work out. Um, <laughs> I was sick so I slept a lot for hours and after I woke up I watched so much Tara's House with Caroline and it just did not work. So I'm coming today though at least and hopefully I'll edit tonight. We'll see. Um, my brain fog is so bad today and just keeps getting worse. So the storms in the area, apparently it stormed some while I was asleep overnight and more might be coming in because I feel it affecting me, especially with my brain. I mean, my brain fog is so bad I can barely type and I am walking into walls. Yes, spectacular spatial awareness. <laughs> um, so right now I'm babysitting Sarah with us and Wanda I can go shopping and so if I have to walk around I probably will use the wheelchair so I don't risk injuring myself while they were gone because once I start falling into the walls the next stage is completely falling and collapsing so the wheelchair is important. But I have some music on it from the um, I'm watching well, not watching I'm listening to a playlist of mine on YouTube of various anime openings and endings the current song it's really relaxing for my brain it's from Girls Last Tour and this particular song um video calls it Song of Rain Jobs I'm not sure if that's the direct translation of the name or not but if you search Girls Last Tour Rain Jobs you can find tons of them but it's such a relaxing one for my brain. I really love it. Um, but I'm really happy because I'm wearing this new shirt. And I feel like I'm wearing Mistville, um from Lord of the Rings. It does feel so magical. And it's shiny, shiny, shiny. I don't know if you can see how shiny it is in this video. If not, I'll insert a picture. But a friend of mine suggested wearing a pink necklace with it. So I found one of my pink necklaces. Um... Let's see. I'm hoping I can read some of Wires and Nerve since I didn't have time to read it yesterday. But I don't know yet if my mental energy can handle it. I don't know if I can process the words in it, but we'll see. And lastly, I have mochi. I'm so happy. Last night, Mama got me some mochi at Whole Foods, so I ate half of it. Um, they keep changing up the flavors they have in it. Originally, it was chocolate, strawberry, and yuzu which is a type of citrus, but then they've changed it up, and last time I got it, it was just chocolate and strawberry, and now it's chocolate and strawberry, and there was a green one, and I don't know what it was. I tried reading the ingredients, but the ingredients were old, and it was the one for the, it was the original ingredients list, so I had no idea what was in it, but we were guessing maybe matcha, because it's green, so, so green tea, I like green tea. Um, these have a vanilla cream inside, um, most of them do, but this one apparently is not vanilla cream like all the others this is Onko which makes me so happy guys I seriously love Onko it is um, a sweetened red bean paste 
made from azuki beans and it's very popular in japan in japan it's uh as popular as chocolate or vanilla is here so it's super popular there and i love onko yeah i i get it, the flavor stuck in my head and i just crave it and so i was so happy that it had one strawberry one chocolate and two onko so i'm about to eat the second half of them while i read and listen to music and have kitties and it's coffee and it's gonna be perfect <laughs> i'm happy also in a bit i'm going to um video chat with some friends and caroline so that will be a whole lot of fun <laughs> Yesterday, when I first, the last time I saw a clip, um, after filming, I video chatted, then I napped, and I video chatted more, and then I felt really sick, and I could not do anything. I had to get off video chat, and I tried to sleep, but I couldn't. My health kept me up till 6 a.m., and I was just really sick, and I still am really sick. I can barely move. So, yeah, I'm just messy, bad. I had a brown cow maple yogurt and I'm drinking a cherry cola stevia and watching Star Trek DS9. But there is two good things at least. One is that video chatting was awesome. It was so much fun. Um and secondly, one of my darling friends sent me this onesie I am wearing, which you may have seen pictures of on Instagram if you follow me. By the way, you can follow me here if you want to see life updates before you can get them on the vlog. <laughs> um, but the onesie's special because it's a hedgehog. Did you even a tail on the back? <laughs> I love it so much though, it's just so cute. Let me look at the house. No, I'm trying to give you a good look, but I don't really feel up to setting up a tripod or showing you or anything, so this is as good a look as you get. <laughs> it's so nice out, it's like I'm wearing a blanket. So I like it, it's cozy. <sighs> It'll be especially nice in winter when I can wear it all the time. <laughs> I do not feel well. I can barely breathe. I've had to take my inhaler, so I'm gonna go. <laughs> so, yeah, I just realized I never filmed the ending clip, so I'm doing that now. But, um, I. Breathe. I finished reading Wise and Nerve, and it resolved the story. I was hoping there were gonna be three of them. Apparently, there are only two, and I'm really sad it's over. <laughs> Um, but it was so good. Um, I was trying to. Oh. I was trying to hold off off from taking a shower t till tomorrow because these storms are making my illnesses flare, and I just don't have the spoons to afford to take a shower today. But that did not work because as soon as I got Nick's out to hold her. She greeted me by She greeted me by peeing and pooping all over me. So yeah, shower was in order. It was super quick, but it took spoons out of me and I just had to lay in bed for a couple hours before I could do anything. And after that all I could do was lay in bed still watching TV, so Just watched Tar Trek TS9 and then I watched a Boruto with Hannah. We were behind. She hadn't been up to watching it much and so I almost caught up now though. Only two episodes behind. Um These storms are triggering both my illnesses and my astrophobia. I just have a bad fear of thunder and lightning and yeah. Mm. Which is preventing me from sleeping. It's already 7.30 a.m. And I'm not able to sleep. Very frustrated by it. But I took a couple Benadryl and 
I just drank some hot chocolate hoping that will like help my body settle down for sleep and so I'm hoping I sleep now if the thunder will just be quiet so I don't have anxiety attacks <sighs> but yeah I will see you after I get some sleep though and I will promise I'll try to edit tomorrow I was going to edit today but the, I was going to edit after I finished my book I was going to edit after I finished my book, but that's when Nick decided to pee and poop on me, and so then I didn't have the energy to edit. So hopefully I can catch up on editing after some sleep. But thank you guys for watching, and I will see you tomorrow. Good night.